taking up. And I'm so sorry, this is very off topic, but this has been on my mind for the last couple days, right? So, um, first off, my first thought was like, okay, we, we celebrate Aaliyah every day for her contributions to music and all that, but we really have to like double back and like get into Aaliyah's acting. Like, no, Queen of the Dam, that was like, like, I think, we, I think we'd be like forgetting like how epic. <laughs> how epic sis came through with the fucking one too like she bodied like she really bodied <laughs> she really bodied that but um what second off what i was thinking is like okay so we've heard multiple stories about her like tragic ending and one of one of the stories that 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 seemed to keep going 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 was that Everyone, everyone got on the plane with all this luggage, with all this luggage, all the cameras, all the everything, all the footage, right? So if the plane went, the plane took a nosedive and, you know, I guess went up in a ball of fire. Who had the tapes for Rock the Rock the Boat video? Wouldn't you think they would have like melted? Like who who stayed back with the tape? Who took the tape out? How did how did they get the footage to edit that video? If it were not on the plane with her with her stuff, I don't know. I'm I'm sorry. Like it's really just been irking me. Like the past couple of days, I would have been fucking thinking about it. Like wait, how the fuck? Who had the fucking who had the footage? Because whoever had the footage for the Rock the Boat video knew exactly what the fuck was going on. Exactly what the fuck was about to happen. Right, so hypothetically thinking, let's say the videographer chose to stay in the Bahamas for whatever fucking reason. Right, so then that... And, and, and let's assume that the videographer owns his equipment... And has his own, you know, Pelican case with whatever he, however he travels, you know. Um, then that debunks the, the whole story of her plane being overloaded and too heavy with luggage. Because you figure, like, a flight from Miami, if she was already shooting in Miami, a flight from Miami to uh, the Bahamas, what are they really bringing, like, wardrobe? It's, it's no, there's no way that the wardrobe was that much. You know what I mean? It's not like she like crowded her dancers onto that plane. See, whatever very fucked up shit Aaliyah went through when she was a kid, her resurgence in 2001, like, I'm sorry, there's, there's no other era like that. Like, that is just, like, the pinnacle of everything like everybody everybody gotta go home like i gotta go home like that self-titled debut was uh crazy and just to kind of think of how strong of a person you you'd have to be to after aj nothing but a number at, four, at like 14 then she puts out one in a million at 17 to consistently still be putting music out and still like be classy and avoid the topic and not discuss it i think that when she started getting bigger than they ever imagined a little black girl could be and she was just like you know she had the diction she was like a, like the perfect politician and she was lovable and likable and beautiful you know like she had this new look and all type of shit like that that made wh whoever whoever was involved with whatever bullshit she was going through as a kid that made them real scared. You know what I'm saying? I was like, oh shit, she got like white niggas behind her. Like, oh shit, like she's in Hollywood. Like, oh shit, she's getting power. Like, shit, she could fuck me up. And I feel like, no, that wasn't no accident. That wasn't no fucking accident. That was not no fucking accident. Hmm. That case needs to be reopened. I'm not even going to, like, sit here and try to be a shitty psychic and, like, whatever, whatever. But, like, no, there's definitely some fucking foul play there.